2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 box! 22! 22! Oh no, I'm gonna make a big mistake. Okay. The local library usually has a section where you can buy old books for 50 cents, 25 cents, one dollar. And I think, it's, I don't know if it's for the holidays, but lately uh, my mom told me that they have a section where you could just buy free books. I went to this morning for to get some free books. Now here's the thing. I was expecting a small section of books. No, there were racks of books for free. I saw this woman with two bags and a trolley. So I went to the counter and I asked one of the librarians, oh, is there a limit as to how many books I can bring? And she said, go wild, go crazy. And these were the words I did not want to hear because... What the frick? So I'm, just go I'm going through all of them. I think at this time, it's mainly books in English. And they say that they do um, put up new books regularly. So hopefully if I go back, I say if I go back, I have to go back home to the UK with these books. Funny enough, I was not able to bring any of these books back in the UK because a box is so expensive to ship from Canada to the UK. And my dad also said that there was no point for me to bring all of these books because he really thinks that I'm going back home after my studies. But my family can just read any of the books and and whenever I go back home, I have already a pile of books. I don't need to bring books from the UK. And if I really want to read one of those books as I'm here in the UK, I could just find an electronic version off of VDB or just buy the electronic version. But that would defeat the purpose of the free book. Home. The next time I go, hopefully there are some books in French because I do want to have a French section in my library. Back home, uh, I say back home, I'm back home, but in the UK, but yeah. First book is Chalk by Dog Duza. Guys, I am so sorry. When I originally filmed the video, I tried to read the blurbs like Jack Edwards in his videos, but I cannot read for the life of me out loud in English because it's not my first language. But what I'm going to do for this video is just provide you a little text about what the book is about if you're interested in reading it and let's get on with the video sorry again yeah i really like it and i love how the last sentence of the blurb is chalk is a story about you so i'm really excited honestly i don't really have any expectations for books for next year so i'm just yeah okay this is kind of nice because every time i see on social media like the little tags of movies i'm like oh that's cool like that would be a nice collection but this is not like a read to book a book to read Whoa. But it's just um, a guide to great movies and they have this section like this. Like the little like parts. I don't know how to explain it to you. Really. But yeah. And then for any book that I read, I can just like add a post-it and just say, did I like it? Did I not? I think some of the books I've already read them. But yeah. I've read them. For some of the movies, I've already seen them. So yeah. But that's nice. Okay, next book. Inheritance. So that's nice. And I love how there are some books that have the Canadian sticker. So that says that. Yeah, Canadian author authors. <laughs> Big Girl, Small by Rachel Dewolski. I like how like the the books, if you can see clearly, like a like an old diary, which is really nice. That's cool. Okay. Okay, Rear View. Oh, that was a award winner. Okay, that's nice. By Pete Duval. Oh, yeah. I was like, why did I use this? Like, I'm looking at this. I'm like... Okay, but this is quite interesting. Love, Anger, Madness. A Haitian try... Well, I've never seen this word before. Triptych. Hopefully I said it right. By Marie Vieux Chauvet. Greatly translated by... Oh, shit. It has been translated. Oh, 
that means it's not the right bag. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. A new translation. Yeah, it has been translated. Okay, wait, hold on. And what I wanted to say is the fact that anything that is has to do with Haiti and people sharing their culture and getting inside of yeah just the land of my ancestors because I never grew up there I just I eat that shit up and one book that I will recommend you guys which is a five, five star read for me is Vers d'autres by Dani Laferriere I don't know the translation in English but I, I'll can find it for you and it's just essentially Dani Laferriere is a big author here in the francophone literature and he's Haitian Canadian so this is a book about Dutrive and just the presentation I'm pretty sure he even signed it yeah he signed it I'm not gonna show you but essentially that's the presentation of the book and like there's colors but also the handwriting it really feels personal and I really love that and he just shares his childhood in Haiti but also when he moved to um, the US to Canada <sighs> I really love this book I, th I really want my own copy actually okay next book is The Cure of Death by Lightning by Gail Anderson Dargatz she's a And I'm really interested. But yeah. The dangers of proximal alphabets. That sounds interesting. Yeah. Okay, that's really... I'm, I'm really interested. Okay, then the singles. I keep saying not the name of the authors because I know I'm going to butcher them. But this is Meredith Goldstein. Okay, this is The Men and the Girls by Joanna Trollopol. As I'm reading this, I'm like, oh, this is so interesting. Okay, this is Mama's Boy by David Goudreau. I keep taking translated stuff. I don't like this. I want books in their natural languages. But that's fine. It's okay. And from the Fleur de Lis, that means that it's... Uh, Quebecois book and you cannot focus yes now you can so it's from Quebec <sighs> but it's fine it's actually it's okay it's fine I think it would have been better in French but it, it's it's okay it's okay and from what I've seen I think there's been, like two other books but I'm, I'm not sure oh Canadian book Woo! Okay, this is The Student by Carrie Fagan. Okay, you know Let me not even repeat the same set. You know, like the pages. I like that. I like the presentation. This is The Woman in the Row Behind by Francoise Dorner. Murmur by Will Eves and I really do love the presentation of the book that's really nice the beauty of sorrow of love and the nature of conscien con I hate that word Conscience consciousness wow I'm putting those words like crazy Chopin's Move by Sean Igenez. Okay. This is House Party and has a Canadian sticker. So, Viva Canada! I followed them into the living room and was met by a mass of people. My sudden burst of courage seemed to deflate. How could I ever get this many people to leave? Just I just then I heard the sirens. <laughs> and it says here, Casey wanted a party, not a riot. Ooh. Here it says, to those kids who choose to party responsibly. Amen. 
from the cover of this book i'm like hmm that sounds interesting yes i do judge books by their cover but shh. So this book is the chairs are where the people go how to live work and play in the city by misha gluberman with sheila hiti i did read sheila hiti um motherhood oh that's interesting that's good Wow, literally, they, um, I'm pretty sure Sheila Hitty is Canadian, but I don't think the Goberman dude, oh no, he says, it's an art, he's an artist, no, Misha is an artist living in Toronto, I'm gonna put my Canadian pile, yes, as I am going through that pile, I'm also arranging, um, we have a couple books left, the first book that I picked from the pile, I remember. This is Ugly's by Sculpt Westerfield. Oh, this is in French! So I did get a book in French. Okay, this is Normal by Warren Ellis. What does it say? I keep doing this like I'm my parents. Like, I should get lost at this point. Jesus. Okay, this is Gambling with Fire by David Montrose and essentially, is this a Canadian book? See, it, not every book has a sticker, so I'm just like, are you Canadian? Yes, I'm pretty sure. It says, funded by the government of Canada. Woohoo! Okay, so, Austrian aristocrat Franz Lubeck lands in Canada penniless. Oh, we're in the same situation! <laughs> Having lost everything, oh, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah, it says the author is from New Brunswick. This is in my Canadian pile. Amen. Okay. Oh my god, I have two books left. So this book is the original 1982 by Louis Carson. Now, are you Canadian, miss? I don't know why I'm like so obsessed with Canadian people. I'm just like, so you are? And then the last book that I have is The Driver's Clothes Lie Empty by Vendela Vida. And I really do like this cover. It says that the in Canadian dollars, the book cost thirty-two dollars, and I got it for right. Hey, but wait, I put. Where are you from, woman? Uh, 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 I think she's American. Well, okay. So from these, what I've gathered, these are my like, Canadian pile. This is my non-Canadian pile. The book in French, and then just like go with the vibe, really. But I'm really happy, I'm really excited. I'm in no rush to read all of these books. I really hope that I get to bring all of these books <laughs> back in the UK. Hope you like the video, and I'll see you guys next time.